Today, I'm going to talk about being an INTJ with avoidant personality disorder and some of my theories on typology and personality disorders. As I'm talking to people and doing these videos, I'm drawing my own conclusions on personality disorders. I think they are just CPTSD or complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Depending on your personality type and what trauma you may experience, you have a higher likelihood of developing certain personality disorders. So what is avoidant personality disorder? To sum things up, it is one of the 10 personality disorders listed in the DSM-5. It's a cluster C personality disorder, and like other cluster C personality disorders, it's derived from fear and anxiety. It's a strong fear of social rejection, public embarrassment, and unworthiness. People with AVPD strongly desire relationships, even INTJs who stereotypically claim they don't care anything about them. For those who don't know me, I'll explain a little bit about myself. I was raised by my mother and stepfather. My biological father was an ESTP who left me when I was five years old. I'm not sure what mental illnesses he had, but he was physically abusive and into drugs. I was even told he was a Satanist. My mom, who died five years ago as a result of opioid abuse, was an ESFP or perhaps even an ISFP. I think she was a very shadow-focused ESFP. She became very introverted due to her own misery. She was emotionally cold and definitely had borderline personality disorder, in my opinion. She never nurtured me when I was a baby and was verbally and psychologically abusive towards me. When you're not nurtured and socialized at the critical ages of birth to three, fundamentally, you never get it. You're basically an outcast for life but I'm still trying to find a path to having a filling life and meaningful relationships. My stepdad, who is an ESFP as well, is on a borderline narcissistic spectrum. He is still alive today, and we have somewhat of a better relationship than we used to. Ever since my mom died, he has since remarried an ESFJ, and I think the compatibility has helped him grow as a person. He was verbally and emotionally abusive as well. Having a difficult early childhood and not being around kids made my school years quite difficult. I was bullied relentlessly, and often had to hide to avoid being screwed with nonstop. Being an INTJ on its own can make socializing pretty difficult. You see, INTJs have FE Trickster and SI Demon. These are lesser known cognitive functions from John Beebe's eight function model. I'll put a link in a playlist and talk about the cognitive functions down in the description below and at the end of this video, so be sure to check that out. Extroverted feeling and introverted sensing, FE and SI respectively, are the people-oriented functions. The Trickster is a Jungian archetype and when applied to John Beebe's eight function model, it's something that we're not socially aware of. Effie is about picking up on social cues and taking emotions of others into consideration. So an INTJs can be oblivious to these sort of things. And if you're an INTJ with AVPD, this is even more exacerbated. SI is about tradition and camaraderie. It is past focused and about community and order. The demon archetype is what it sounds like it is. It's basically something that we strongly hate. SI is also about self-care, and INTJs and INFJs get pretty neglectful of their own health. You have may have heard of the INTJ and INFJ door slam. Another YouTuber, C.S. Joseph, contributes this to SI Demon. An INTJ and INFJ may be rightfully or wrongfully perceived that someone has betrayed them and will shut them out of their lives and pretend they don't even exist. C.S.J. also talks about the theory of the superego and how the SI Demon is a gateway to the superego. As an INTJ with ABPD, I think my traumatic past has led me to shut everyone out, and I'm stuck in my own superego. With the lack of these two functions, it can make relationships hard enough. I think trauma stunts the development of cognitive functions. Another cognitive function that is in the INTJ's ego stack, but acts more like a shadow function at times, is SC inferior or extroverted sensation. Again, if the lingo about the cognitive functions is hard to follow, please then watch this playlist and you'll have a better understanding of them and yourself. SC is performance anxiety and fear of public embarrassment. Does that sound familiar at all? By no means is having AVPD exclusive being an INTJ with a fucked up past. I think many of the introverted types, especially if you prefer to use intuition over sensation, are prone to getting this debilitating disorder. Please reach out to me. I know what it's like and you're not alone in this. To understand the cognitive functions more, watch this playlist and thanks for watching and subscribing.